Hey, today I'm going to give you my top tips on coding in verse. If you're new to coding in verse, maybe you'll find some help in this. Tip number one is if you're copying in code, and let's say you're trying to line it up like you think it should go here, and you put that's where you put your cursor, and then you go paste, and it doesn't come in before you do anything else, hit Control Z. And a lot of times that'll put you where you need to be. Tip number two, if you're dealing with code and you've got a lot of squiggly lines coming in, and this usually happens when you're you're just starting, you can what you can do is put in a block here. And then that a lot of times will prevent the squiggly lines that you're getting. So typing in block will satisfy the song begins so that it, it feels like there's something there and you won't just have automatic squiggly lines. Tip number three is let's say you're looking for something. Say you've got a lot of code. What you can do is go control F and go find. Let me let me control Z this actually to get rid of a lot of the squiggly lines. And let's say I was looking for, I don't know, a widget or something it will highlight in the code where all those occurrences of widget are. So it makes it easy to find things. Tip number four is if you happen to run into this thing that I call the inference operator or the colon equals. And a lot of times you're confused about, well, what data type is this? You can just type it in and if you don't get an error, then that's usually what data type it is. So if you ever want to know what the data type for something is, just break that up and type in what you think it is. And a lot of times I'll do that anyway, just for clarity. A lot of times I like to see what data type I'm dealing with. Tip number five has to do with a what I call is the nested comment. And I don't see this a lot, but it's a real, it's one that covers a lot of ground. So you go angle bracket, hash mark, angle bracket, and then if we just scoot things over, you'll see that you can comment out a whole swath of code at one time with just that one little marker. And so those are just my five little tips for coding 